got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Dudu in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Hmm. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. <laughs> if they... If they hurt you, <laughs> Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Get on the roof. Okay. Can do that. Oh, circle. Jeez. Okay. Oh, oh no. That didn't work. Thank you. Uh. All right, finally. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. Into through inside. the window to Holson Jr.'s room. Okay. <clears throat> and now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tune. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? <laughs> I could say that. <laughs> Behind you. There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Let's do that. Fucking kill you, cap! I'll get you. Oh, level 16. Jesus. Oh, wait. Uh... Each time Siri uses special powers, her energy declines. Some energy is restored each time you attack a foe. You will gain access to your special abilities once your energy has increased to the required level. That's her ability. Where's Ruvin's treasure? Dude, what did he do to me? Oh, <laughs> you saying? Come on then. Where's Rubik? Ah. Boom. That was easy. Ah. <laughs> an eye for an eye. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! Shite. Oh, shit. Oh, she's gone. Oh, no. I'm going to fight him. Oh, let's dance, boys. Come on, then. Since you're in for it, on with it. Grab the cat. Oh, sweetness. That's a fucking badass move. Uh, 
actually going to let my health reload. Him off. And that's how we do that. <laughs> oh yeah, she's a bit tricky to get to grips with. Definitely, a bit tricky to get to grips with. But it's all good. All right. Now where am I going from here? Down again. It's four of them down here. Guy off. <laughs> That's how we do it. Alright, I finally got to grips with her, finally. <laughs> finally got to grips with her. That blink move is proper cool. Very cool. It's nice. It's pretty badass. That's what happened. Told you true. Doo doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There, one moment, gone the next. Mm. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. Yeah. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. No, you're a douchebag. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. And is dead. Tell Priscilla what you've learned about Dudu. Oh, level 17, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No. No, he does not. <laughs> You'll come with us. HMS Oxenford Tretagor, once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Defeatism and desertion. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Assassino! Mm. Assassino! <laughs> Chess again, really? <clears throat> Mad King. There 
There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. Mm. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart. What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. <clears throat> reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. Parted ways? You gathered them in one place, then gave the order to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they'd once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain Witcher revealed that the Lodge was behind the Regicides. The mages proved to be traitors. While the Witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Favor for Red of it. Okay. What? What? Your arms. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I forgot Never about that. Steel in my life. <laughs> Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Okay, let's have a look at my quest log. Uh, plays the thing. Tell Priscilla what you've learned. Okay. Here she is. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Hmm known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. Mm. What tipped you off? How'd you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. <laughs> we need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Reynard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply in debt to <laughs> Dudu and the Mummers, how they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. 
And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theater. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. <laughs> Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. <laughs> if you wish, we can start on it right away. Sure, I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Sure. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence. Meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? No. Not entirely. Tough. You'll need to pick it up as we go along. There's no time to explain everything to you. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story. That would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlemwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavel. Uh -huh. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps that in. That is actually a real story. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours? Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. <laughs> we need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. <laughs> I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Mm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Drama. Mm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While well, you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. <laughs> Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <laughs> I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but 
We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. <sighs> Taking the script to Irina. Okay. where Madame Marina's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Sure. Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Yes. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. Hmm. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? <sighs> or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. <laughs> I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a doubler from certain death. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dobblers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. <laughs> All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. <laughs> Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I found some ushers. See you then. All right. <coughs> okay, so let's head to docks for ushers.